Hi, this is Helen with the Better Half Blog. Thanks for joining me today. I am going to take you through how I plan out my week in my Stalogy. I know that I did talk about on the last video that I wanted to show you how easy it is to set it up. So what I'll do is because I did set it up and I like to do it fairly quick, I will show you my weekly layout on the next page jizz that I have over here. Um, let me just bookmark this page so I could go back and forth because I am still new to the whole Stalogy concept and I am needing to look at my previous spread to see how I did it. I have this Jibon Techo stencil and I kind of use it as a ruler and so what I'm doing here is I take this and where it ends right here let me show you up close where it ends there is a box so when i go from one end right here to just match it up there's an actual box that it lands on so i did that on purpose because i want it to be super easy and quick to set up my spread each week pass one box on the top and then I would go to the second box and I count one, two, three, four boxes. And of course I'm doing this with red. So let me flip that to black. And from there, I'm making a half line. If you look closely on your Stalogy B6, you'll see that there's numbers. And if you want to use them as your hourly tracker, you can do that. But right in the middle is 14 and a half. That's what I found straight across between 10 and 11 i make another one and that makes it a quarter straight across between 18 and 19 is another quarter so straight across again i'm putting a big number for the week so i would just pick a marker or a highlighter this is a um, tombow 553 a color that i love so then I just go 16, really big, so it's visible. So when I flip through the pages, I could quickly see that it's week 16. It's April, what is that? April 19 to April 25th of 2021. I just label Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like that. So let's do that real quick. I take that same Tombow marker and I could just highlight the number of the day. And boom, I'm done. Now on the right side here, I typically use it for my habits and goals and things like that. But right now, my habits and goals um, do heavily, heavily require me to keep on cleaning, decluttering, making sure the laundry room is clean, and um, my meals for the week, as well as Sean's lunch and my workouts. Because remember, Get Fit is a huge, huge goal for me this year. So on the right side, I will just put a line across the middle of the page. And again, that's between 14 and a half and 15. So I just take this line across. And then from there, um, I skip one square on the bottom and one square on the top and make it into three chunks. Every eight squares across is a line. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do here, skipping the top and the bottom. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares, skipping those that top and the bottom square. Now I'm just going to label them as meals, workout, clean on top. Let's take a look at the daily setup. And the daily setup is really quick and easy as well. I make the line go down the middle. I count four on the top, four on the bottom. Again, skipping that bottom box and the top box. I'm going from one end and just following where this lands right here. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, 
and one, two, three, four, so ready? Skipping two, two squares here and two squares on the bottom and doing the same thing. So I go two squares like that. Here, what I would do is I would take the same Tombow color that I use for the week. It just helps me to see quick that it belongs to this week. And write down Monday, like Monday, the 19th like that and done so that's Monday and I could quickly write down Monday here if that makes me feel any better and down the middle on the left is work and on the right is personal write work or use a sticker and this is personal or to do's right and I could Take a Tombow and just do a quick brush of a line. Bottom here, what I'm using it right now today is for things that I need to follow up on. It might be an order or things that I'm waiting on, like an email or things like that. So outgoing or ingoing, I just jot it down here when it involves other people. And then up here is where I actually get to write down the tasks or things to do. And let's go to the last spread. So pretend that this is Sunday because it always lands on this page for me because I start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it lands on this page. So on the right side, I have this an empty spread. And so what I wanted to use that as is my YouTube page. Just to signify that it's a special page and I could either write YouTube here or use a sticker like I did on this week, like that. I do any kind of brainstorming or jot down any kind of videos that I wanna film in the future, even though I don't film every single one that I write down here, I would still write it down here because it gives me a place to jot down ideas and notes and you know things like that. So that's how I'm using that page. Very last page, how I'm using it is like this so i put work and personal and this is simply for next week right so it goes for uh, migrating any kind of tasks or projects that i have in mind um, this week that i could not get to goes to next week so when i'm planning out the following week i have things listed here now for me for this week just because i had so much to do um, for work and personal what i did was i quickly went and opened this up while i was was working and I wrote down things that I need to follow up or do next week. So if it's a particular day, I just wrote it down here on each day of the week. And if it's just something that is running, but I need to get it done on this week, I just put it on the right spread, the empty spread here. So that's what I'm going to be using and planning out this week. Okay, so I have this page and I'm just gonna use it like this. Okay, I go into my weeks and I look at this week that I'm working on and I have some things that are listed that must be done on that particular day and I would quickly write that down here. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, so I've done that. I'm going to go into my Notion to see if there's anything special that I need to notate. And here's my Notion dashboard. And I would go into my future log in Notion and I would go down to see this. So I've got from the date 19 to 25. So I have everything, ooh, 25, but yeah, I have everything in here. So that's that. And then once I have, oh, I have church. Because it's online church right now, um, it's been real hard not to write it down on my planner because sometimes we just pass through it because it's virtual um, worship right now. So, okay. So then meals. I would have to do this all over again, meals. 
And I would just write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Writing down what day I want to do what laundry for who, right? Um, between my two older kids, they do their own laundry. But it's my husband, mine, my younger two, and then towels and sheets and um, anything else that falls over. But then I realized because we have Taekwondo three days a week, I have to wash their um, tobok every single time they go to Taekwondo, which is three times a week. And that means I cannot work on other people's laundry and that's a disaster. So a lot of the days I am doing two or three loads in a day. Uh, so I decided I'm just gonna put days of the week and then write down what I did. So that way, if I'm missing someone, if someone's clothes are not washed, then I know to go and work on it over the weekend. Okay, then I have on the workout, again, it's Monday through Friday. And I'm being very nice with myself and forgiving because with workouts, I was doing yoga challenge um, the last several months, but then it kind of got a little bit boring for me so now I'm doing both walking and yoga or Chloe Ting so now I have three things that I do and so I wouldn't do it in one single day but you know I just have different days where I'm just kind of being spontaneous about it so if I take a long walk I would count that as my workout so that's what I'm doing with my workout so I just do that and again I write it down at the end of the day what I did and then cleaning I have 11 spots that I to work on. So let's write those down real quick. And steam. Steam main and typically my husband helps me here with the steaming over the weekend. So that is what I have there. And then decluttering, I am focusing on my journaling desk area. Um, not that my journaling desk needs decluttering, but it's more surrounding areas, right? Because I have like a lot of different things and paperwork that is just kind of scattered in um, different drawers that I have uh, that I work on different things. And then my dining room is always needing attention because I have like, I still have a couple of boxes there, believe it or not, from our move in July of last year. So that's interesting. And then last thing I want to do is my desk area and my cabinet. I have some journals that I want to get rid of and stuff like that. So that is how I fill this out. Um, meals, I do this typically on a Sunday or Saturday. I just sit down and look up recipes online and you know, easy stuff recipes or recipes that I already know that our family would enjoy. And it also has a lot to do with what ingredients I have left over from the week. With Sean's lunch, I typically make it simple. Again, simple is my word. Fried rice, salad, salmon salad, or pork salad, or chicken salad, and you know, things like that. So it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's go into the week. And what I'm doing throughout the week is first I go into here and I look at the schedule. So I copy this over and it might be redundant for some of you, but I do it because when I am working on that day, like Monday, right? I would just look at this page and not go to this page if I don't need to, right? Um, but I do go on a daily basis, obviously, to this page, but I don't pay attention to this page once I set up my whole week for the week. Does that make sense? And if something comes up in between the week where I have this journal in front of me and I need to quickly write it down, I would use a red pen, write down a new schedule. So that way I know, hey, you when you schedule this, when you plan this whole week out, you didn't include this on that day. So that's what I would do is use a red pen. So on this, let's go back here. And so I have. Oops, it's 4.30 p.m. 4.30 p.m. And I love Stalogy because when I was using the bullet journal, bullet journal, or while I was testing it out, one thing I didn't like was that perfection part of me coming out into that bullet journal. 
um, because I couldn't write like this. I couldn't quickly write. I had to just be very careful and write very pretty, right? Bullet journals have that in me. And so when I was using Stalogy, what's cool is because I don't know if it's the psychology behind thin paper or what, but I don't mind it being messy or if my writing is not perfect. You know what I mean? So to me, that's what helps me when it comes to functional planning. I don't have to be pretty and perfect. I could just do things and let it go because the Stalogy will, I don't know that I'm going to keep this behind. I don't know that after I finish the Stalogy that I'm going to actually like archive it on my desk or, you know, on my shelves. Now, between work and to-dos, I go back here and, you know, during this week, the whole week while I was working, I was going through all the stuff and jotting down again, notes of, you know, tasks and things to do next week. And so I have this whole thing here. So once I have some stuff that I wrote down here and it's just like, I could just be sitting on my couch watching Netflix and I would sit there and be like, oh yeah, we had Taekwondo. Oh yeah, I scheduled golf lessons with the coach. Or, you know, oh yeah, Lydia had COVID vaccine on Tuesday. I would just sit there and jot things down. So it might look repetitive, but honestly to me, I get this out because I don't want it to like clutter my brain, if that makes any sense to you. Because I don't look at this every single day. I just use this while I'm working to just write down things that I need to do on the following week, right? So this is more of my messy plan. So what I do from here is once I have this down on this paper, which is my daily functional planner, I just put a diagonal line across that dot in front of that task or event. So that way I know like, oh, it's already been counted for in here. So you don't have to worry about this, right? Otherwise I get nervous. I'm like, oh my God, did we do that? Did we go to the COVID vaccine? Oh my gosh, did I miss that? You know, so it's it's all here and I just get that question out of my way. So I did that, um, Taekwondo, follow up with EK. Okay, so this one, I don't have it here on Wednesday. So I'm gonna write that down. Everything has been written down. So, I, And if I have extra here and not here, I'm not going to migrate it into here because this is not for memory keeping. It's more for like functional and pre-planning because where it lands is supposed to land here is, is my ultimate planner, right? Next into here and I write down everything that I need to migrate into this week. And when I do that, here's my trick. Um, on weeks like this where I have several things, I, I can just look at it already and I know that several of these things are bigger projects and tasks. And so what I'll do then, it makes me kind of overwhelmed to schedule it in into each day. And so if I have easy stuff, take a blue and I get the easy stuff out of the way. And then I start scheduling that into my week as a to-do on work or to-do on the personal. And then everything else that is requiring more time or a lot of thinking or brainstorming or meeting notes and things like that, I would keep it behind, leave it here. And then on that day, because of my crazy schedule, when I do have a couple of hours in chunks where I finish everything else early morning and I can now then um, add in a couple more things to do, like those bigger projects and tasks, that's when I go back to here, my weeks, on a daily basis, and then I pick it up from here. Let's do that right now. So instead, like last time, what we talked about is I would highlight the yellows first, which is my highlight, those bigger projects and tasks that needs to be done. I am doing the opposite, right? I am taking the blue, which is for my task, you know, those quick things that I can get off. Okay, so these things I would then go and schedule them out. And as I schedule them out, I put a diagonal in that blue circle dot. Everything else becomes a yellow, right? So these are all bigger tasks and things that I have to focus on throughout the week. 
And some of these I know are already in my Pomodoro. And so, okay. In my Pomodoro, if you remember watching my last video, I am doing this each month now. So this is my monthly spread and I will go through and do a May spread with you, plan with me. So I will show you how I quickly get this done. So on my Pomodoro, where is my Pomodoro? Oh, okay, here, it's here. Okay, so on my Pomodoro, I'm just writing down some bigger tasks and um, projects here to help me focus better and do things the way I need to get it done other than getting overwhelmed and then procrastinating about it and not doing anything about it. So then I would take some of these and I know that some of these take longer than 25 minutes, then I would add it into the Pomodoro. And so that way it'll help me to visually like, you know, and psychologically like prepare myself to get those tasks done. And that's something that is a big helper in this um, type of situations with lack of time and big projects and a lot of tasks to do. That is what's preparing me for the week. And now let's go into the final page. So the final page again is that page where I use it to migrate everything from the week um, that I was working on and then whatever I couldn't get done, I would migrate into the next week. Well, what I'm going to do is what I'm deciding to do spontaneously right here on the moment is that I'm going to continue this method where I just, during the week when I'm working and I there's some things that I want to get to on the following week that I know is coming up next week, I'm gonna quickly jot it down here on my weeks. That way uh, it's so easy as you can see how I plan just now. It's so easy to just look at one place instead of multiple places. I would look here and then I would look at my brainstorming here and it's just extra step. So I'd rather just write it all here and do the same thing every time I write it down into this planner than just um, put those diagonal lines going through, um, noting that I did accept those tasks in here in the Stalogy. So that is how I am using this. Um, now on some of these pages, I have been journaling in here um, because there were some serious things that were happening in our household. Like my mom was um, called me from her car cardiologist's office with her test results. And so my mom's going through a couple things and I had to quickly write down notes and I was looking for th something somewhere to write down um, doctor's notes and you know things that I wanna research on for my mom. And um, I couldn't find anything. So I was like, okay, cause I was in the middle of work and I received that call. And so I decided, you know what? That's what this theology is all about. I'm gonna write some notes here. And then I'm gonna notate it into my Hobonichi cousin where I kind of keep my memory and things. And also, um, you know, uh, where I need to remember, I am just jotting it down in my index up here in the front. I do have it here notated mom's medical so that I know that when I'm looking for, oh, well, what did that doctor say was the condition? I would just come to page 53 on my Stalogy, which I wrote down my pages for um, and find that information that I need to look at. That was my plan with me. I know it could be boring sometimes, but it could also be fun and interesting for some of you who are trying to look for different ways to get some work done. Thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions, list them down below in the comments. And that's what I have for you today. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.